Wednesday. And this is a happy Wednesday, even though <coughs> we are in the midst of a uh, kind of cultural phenomenon that most of us have never experienced before in our reaction to the uh, COVID-19 uh, Corona Wu flu uh, virus and how it has impacted American life. Here's my thoughts on it briefly before we talk about the readings, which are calling us to strive for real holiness. It is easier for us to adapt and recover from being overly precautious rather than it is to be reckless. And I think that's a good way to frame it. You know, do, do I think we're being overly uh, cautious? Probably. But you know, it's, it's easier to amp that down than to be unprepared and uh, next thing you know uh, you're sick or some loved one is dead that didn't have to die if there had been precautions. Now there's still going to be death even with precautions but it will be easier for us in the long run to adapt to uh, amping down these over precautions rather than trying to recover if we're in the midst of an epidemic that's, that's uh, rampant Right now, we're in the midst of a, an epidemic that is, uh, I won't call it marginal, but it, it seems more out, out there. It's not close to home yet, but it's, it's getting that way. So anyway, that's all my thoughts. Keep praying. Use common sense. Do not give in to fear. Panic ruins everything. Fear changes nothing for the better. So, with the peaceful uh, guitar music and piano music playing in the background, Jesus urges us in the gospel today really to strive for holiness, to keep his Father's commandments, because the commandments are good. He has not come to abolish them, he has come to fulfill them, and not one uh, single letter of the law will pass away until he's fulfilled them all, which, which he has. He already has fulfilled them all. But it's really a... Uh, a call to strive for holiness that uh, if you strive for greatness and you fall short you will still be further ahead than you ever were if you don't strive for greatness you may end up even being worse off than you were and, and you really have to look at it that way spiritual complacency is terrible it grips a ton of people even those of us who are trying to be faithful to Jesus suffer from spiritual complacency where uh we think well it's, it's you know i'm not a mass murderer praise god <laughs> you know i'm not doing this praise god well but god's called all of us not to do that what has he called you in particular to do in your life of prayer in your life of, of service in your life of self-denial because that's really what lynn is trying to get us to do to pray to serve and to deny ourselves because in self-denial we open the room for God and neighbor to act more freely in our lives you know the fasting and abstinence really uh, should change us for the better now you'll see a lot of people because we're gonna have cultural fasting and abstinence and not going out no restaurants no bars here after tomorrow uh, maybe not going into work there are going to be a lot of people who can't handle it. So we need to pray for them. Because that's really unfortunate. Um, that the real good opportunity of all of this is you get to spend time with your loved ones. Have some meaningful discussions. You know, after the internet breaks, <laughs> I mean, we won't even know how many people go nuts. Because we won't be able to contact each other. But when the internet shuts down uh, in your local area because it gets overloaded by too many users, uh, well, they'll... They have to talk to the people in the room with you. And that's where charity begins. That's where the smallest letter of the law begins its fulfillment. Loving the people who are in the room with you. Talking to the people who sit across the table from you. And uh, let's pray that it, 
Maybe uh, one of the fruits of all of this is a renewed sense of community and understanding and, and its importance in our lives. Because Jesus wants us to strive for holiness. Even if we fail, we'll be way further ahead than we would if we didn't. And uh, he has great things to show us in this life and even better things to lead us to in the next. Blessed Wednesday, all. Be at peace.